What up, mathletes? So I decided to make this video on factoring trinomials using the trial and error method. All right, so this is um, one of many methods out there, all right? And what I want to do is I want to make this as easy as possible. So first of all, don't just use a method and memorize it. Know when you can use this tool, all right? So notice we have one, two, three terms. So you have a trinomial. In this case, it's a quadratic. Uh, but later on, uh, you'll use this method for not only quadratics, but other types of trinomials as well, all right? Other degrees. But right now, we're going to focus on quadratics, all right? So that just means we have an x squared here, or something, our variable is being squared. All right, so let's just get into this. All right, so what we do, we're going to set up our factors right we're gonna look for our factors and the big secret is these first two factors they need to multiply to give me 3x and people are wondering well why did you write this uh, trinomial two times because what I tell my students is you need to make sure just be ready that it might not work the first time and I promise you the more you do this uh, the number of times you do this is going to be less and less because you're going to start to see things kind of happen. So that's the good news. And number two, the method I'm about to show you to check is really easy. So it's going to take seconds to check. All right. So if you don't believe me, I'll make a believer out of you. All right. So give me two factors that multiply to give me 3x squared. It doesn't matter. So we could try 3x and x, right? We're pretty limited on that. Uh, but the 4, the negative 4, two numbers that multiply give me f negative 4, but here's the thing. The last thing I always do is include my signs. So don't put the signs until the end. All right, why? Well, let's check it out. Let me tell you why. So here's a fast way of seeing if we're on the right track. So you multiply the inner terms, boom, you get 4x. You multiply the outer terms, boom, you get 3x, right? That took like less than five seconds. And our goal is you want to ask yourself, if I put some signs in front of here, is there any way that these are going to add or subtract, right, to give me a positive 1x? And the matter of fact, there is. So if we make this 3x negative, Right? We see that 4x minus the 3x gives me that 1x that I'm looking for. So now we could throw our signs in. So we know that this 1 must be negative because we just said 3x times negative 1 gives me negative 3x. And then this 4 is going to be positive. All right. So we have found our mother factors. All right. But let's say we didn't. All right, so let's say I made a mistake first. So uh, let me take this other one. And actually, I should have made the mistake first, just to show you how fast it is to catch our mistake. So the 3x times x, and let's say we went with 2 times 2 to give me that 4, right? So again, these first two terms, these first two terms multiply to give me the first term. And then the last two terms, right, they multiply to give me my last term here. So we could easily check this and it's quite fast. You multiply the middle, boom, 2x. Multiply the outer, boom, 6x. And we ask ourselves the same question. Is there any possible way for us to put some signs in front of here that would give us a positive 1? And the answer is no. So right away you know that this these factors, right? If I put some signs in there, whatever signs I put, they will not work. All right. So this, my friends, is called the trial and error method. Hopefully it helped you out. And again, um, if you have some questions, just comment below and I'll be glad to help you out. Talk to you later.